Hello and welcome back and today we're going to continue our look at comparing mobile applications for Synology and QNAP and now we want to compare both of their respective file management apps because both of them um, uh, there's a multitude of mobile applications for both Synology and QNAP and both of them are going to um, a very similar direction with regards to file management they both give you the ability to access a direct file explorer kind of Windows Explorer um, based application that lets you go around and look at all the individual files and folders on your NAS and let you open them with the native apps on your mobile phone. So if you've got uh, a Google phone, you can open up with Google Docs. If you've got video files that need to be played, you can play them with VLC or whatever's on your mobile phone. But what's interesting straight away while looking at these is the QNAP one, uh, the QNAP application QFile, is very similar in framework to all of their other apps. They have added and removed different options, and you get, if you're going to the settings menu, you can find very bespoke options with regards to what you're looking at. So in files for this, if it's photos, lots of photo options, video, there's lots of video options, etc. Whereas Synology, their um, file app, the DS file application, is very different to all their other mobile apps, and they've done it on purpose. Now, that's quite a brave move, I would go as far as to say, because a lot of R&D and development um, go uh, design I should say does go into each of those individual apps now at the moment on this discussion app from Synology it uh, the, the icons do load a lot quicker those thumbnails definitely loaded faster on the Synology app when I was looking at photos when I was looking at music they all loaded very fast indeed the photos themselves loaded there's me and my Christmas hat again the photos themselves pretty standard again when you actually click on the photos they open at the same time but when you move over to the QNAP application, because I spent a lot of time looking at the settings, it's worth mentioning on that far more bespoke experience with regards to backing up and downloading files, because you could actually cater just how much is going to be downloaded, the type of files to be downloaded, and what ones you don't want to, to have banned, do you want to store thumbnails, that sort of thing. And again, very intimidating for some users, I imagine. The Synology application, it has some of those options, but not lots. I mean, right away on the Synology app, I thought I'd try to run a movie, an MP4, and it does run the app um, on the phone. In this case, on an Android phone, it was using uh, the Google Photos application to run this movie. So once again, it was using the default applications available on the app. In case you're wondering, Blade Runner, solid film. Now, the QNAP application, once you go into it, of course, one of the other great advantages is the fact that you can find other QNAPs on your network. So once you have added one or two NASs on your LAN or by adding the domain address using the cloud-based account, it's pretty straightforward, to be honest, going straight into it. Very easy, and the folder structure can be adjusted on both NASs to a thumbnail perspective or to individual folders. Now, on the, in the case of the QNAP, it is also worth mentioning that the QNAP let me immediately see an external USB drive, um, iSCSI targets, and let, basically let me saw network attached drives the, Syn uh, the Synology didn't let me see that straight away I don't know if you caught that on the left screen there uh, the Synology application there being open to, uh, being open the ability to open PDFs and Word documents using my proprietary apps from Google on my phone um, now with the QNAP as you can see the thumbnails are already there um, on the QNAP but that was because I'd already loaded in and out of it so the thumbnails just took a pinch longer on the QNAP mobile application than they did on the Synology. And I do mean a pinch. But once again, so much more information and abilities and what we can do uh, with the application than we can on the Synology. The QFile one, not to even to sharing, but move them to private collection stuff that the Synology requires you to use devoted photo applications to do. So the QNAP app definitely lets you be able to do more. And as you can see, when I've got uh, bespoke photos here, a lot of these, it kept the NFOs, it kept the JPEGs, it even kept some versioning of these photos when I created more and different ones. So it is worth mentioning that once again, the QNAP does give you lots more options. Now, with regard to the videos, when I tried to play a video, it wasn't playing the video very well at all. Transcoding isn't available in the QFile application. If you want video, you're gonna have to go to the QFile app. I tried to do some transcoding here, as you can see. And I went for the original big old file. I think I removed uh, the transcoding because it just was not playing the game. But as you can see, playing the original file, it didn't play it straight away. And that's not the recording there. That is uh, the phone 
not being able to play that file properly. So again, transcoding, not so supported. This was done on a 253A, it's worth mentioning as well. So once again, we go to a lower spec um, transcoding file there, and it asks you to install the app update in Video Station, and therefore use the Video Station app. A little disappointing. But still, nevertheless, I would go as far as to say that the QNAP application is still far more versatile than the Synology application. It just does more, gives you more options to break down of, um, folders and uh, files. It is a far more um, able application than Synology's DS file. That said, DS file is damn fast. It's so fast. It, uh, it loaded up the thumbnails real, real quick. It logged into the NAS much quicker. It let me create new folders and move content over just that bit quicker, something that the QFile application could learn from. So once again, if you want easy, quick, go for DS file and therefore a Synology application. If you want versatile options and the ability to configure and control, QFile is definitely the one for you and therefore a QNAP now is the way forward for you. But nevertheless, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.